I just did an entire video to Filet's uh, Pro highlights and just realized we weren't recording. So let me know if you guys want me to redo it. But I'm not in the mood to do that anymore because that was that just pissed me off. They lost that toy. But they did. That's fucking tough. But uh, since Lamelo Ball got drafted, I wanted to react to some Lamelo Ball highlights. You like Lamelo? Oh my God. Yo, you guys already know he's going to the Hornets. Let me know what you think about that. What did he go three? He went number three. I think House House said it. They were like, "Who would you have, Lamelo or or Filet?" Online and like, I think a couple of them said something like they would take Filet. Some of them would take Lamelo. But you got Lamelo. They were doing Lamelo Carmelo. Oh, they were. Yeah. Tough. And Jay Jones was in disbelief that Trey said Carmelo. Really? He was like, really, you're going to compare Carmelo to Lamelo? But yeah. Lamelo's tough. I watched him play against St. V whenever they. Uh, yeah. Yeah, my, my aunt went to that one too. But. All right, we're going to watch Lamelo's 2019 NBL highlights. Um, I actually haven't seen this before. I've only ever seen like Lamelo's uh, shit on like House of Highlights and stuff. Was that a fart joke? <laughs> you had your video, like you said. I thought it was like his foot going against the couch no. or something. Were you saving that one for the next video? No. Joe farts in every reaction video if you just pay close enough attention. It's part of my contract. Don't come over here, bro. All right, here we go. But none of those passes were contested. The cuts were, were done at relative ease. Lamelo's so smooth. He looks like such a lazy basketball player, though. And he got tall out of nowhere. You know what I think helps Lamelo is the fact that he's got such an weird ass ugly jumper so when he does has he even if it's slow like it, it looks like he's gonna shoot it and if they don't bite then he can shoot it pass it's a really hard shot. I'm I'm very I'm really not sure like how well Lamelo is gonna do in the NBA. Um, I think like offensively going to the basket, but I I really think he's gonna have a strong impact uh, like passing and. Be on, uh, be on the perimeter and shit. Just because he looks, he's a little bit smaller. But you don't have to be huge. Oh my god, I think I saw that on House of Highlights. You think he'll be fine, Hunter? I think he's gonna surprise a lot of people, including myself. Had the answers. Is this the time for ball? Yes. Deep shot. How do you think Leangelo feels? He plays for the Thunder G League. Oh, he does? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was watching him at the game last time. His ankle, it just sucks. He's had so many like, ankle injuries. Like, he's just been over it. Mm. I just keep coming back. That was a really nice move. He, you said he keeps coming back? The ankle. Yeah, he's had so many surgeries on his ankle. It's just like. Damn. Four minutes in the first two games. To why he only four on Sunday. He's got such a quick, like, shot. It almost looks like a, a decent Sean Marion. He's got good chemistry with that dude on his team. This is in Australia, right? I saw that one. I've seen this before. Man, he really got huge out of nowhere, though. I don't wonder if, like, 
to get bigger through like NBA workout program. Yeah. The problem wasn't it's like yeah. Soaring like the hawk that he is. Trailing in an easy pass back was a long shot, but you've got to close out on him. A lot earlier that in the D chains. Conrad been doing it as well. Romero, he's nice. Wildcats with the momentum. Illawarra still with the lead. I don't think I gave him a lot of credit because I'd never really seen him play, but. Yeah. Did you see the press conference? Lamelo was asked how much or how much would it take to see uh, Michael Jordan versus um, LeVar? Why would that's like the worst ball screen defense I've ever seen in my life? Watch it. He went under the screen and he's at the free throw line. That's probably the worst ball screen defense I've ever seen. He probably signed the basketball before he shot it. Yeah, he creates good plays. Like, he's not just a scorer, you know? He was going fast. That dude was happy as hell. Did you see him? <laughs> Look from Blanchfield in return. <laughs> That's Hunter. That's the year, that's the year whenever Lamelo ball came over during the game. Anderson for back-to-back -back buckets. No good. Lamelo again crashing the rebounds. Good time. Blanchfield with an early look. That's what the Hawks will want. NBA player when he's playing off on ball. It's probably good for Lamelo to be in Australia, honestly. Like get away from the noise of the United States and. All of the shit around, like, what was going on with him and his dad and, like, all the stuff with him not being able to go to college and stuff. And he signed with Puma, so he's out of, like, the big baller brand stuff, too. Yeah. He's done it in a half Long time ago now. Ball looking to drive and then... Yeah, he's got some money now. Well, he had already had money. We know he, we, we knew he was getting money, you know. Nobody was just gonna go ahead and investigate that because that's just like. Yeah. Dude, he's probably so confident when he plays though, because he knows he's got so many eyes on him. Honestly, he probably doesn't think about it. Somebody also said it the other day, like. Lamelo's been playing in front of a crowd since he was in middle school. Whenever he was a freshman, he started on the team and won a state championship. Yeah. He's he's had cameras and the attention like for a very long time. I think he said it actually doesn't phase him. Like, and it wouldn't, it shouldn't phase you if you that long, you know. That's the way from Oh, Lamelo giving us a little bit of extra flourish. And then just dumps it in the corner. That's it all the time in the world. I'm not going to lie. I know they're highlights. And, like, I'm not seeing full game footage. But he is making it look pretty easy. At least he just looks comfortable. Like, he looks smooth with it. He plays really confident, like. I mentioned earlier in the video, like, he looks like he's playing lazy sometimes. But it, it looks like he just knows how to control his own pace. As you can look lazy and, like, actually be lazy. Or I guess there's a difference between being lazy and, and looking lazy but just playing at your own speed. Like, that's such an unorthodox shot. It almost reminds me of Marcus Dempsey. He, he follows through a little bit more than Lamelo, but that sidestep fade away. Who's better, Lonzo or Lamelo? I'm gonna say Lamelo. Right? What about? What about if Lonzo wouldn't have had all of the attention over him and didn't have to feel like he was living up to a certain, you know, because, like, I always thought Lonzo, like, was shitty at first when he first got to the league and stuff mm -hmm. because he had so much attention on him and, like, yeah. he and he felt like he had to live up to it and then it was just a confidence thing. The crazy you know? thing is all that attention comes from his dad, too. 
Yeah. His dad's saying he's going to the Lakers, saying he's going to be the best, saying he's going to bring the Lakers a championship and all that. That's so much weight on his shoulders right off the bat, and he had, didn't even say anything of it. Like, yeah. That's tough. This man is doing it in one of the best leagues in the world outside the NBA. You can get drafted? I didn't even know you could get drafted. Oh my god, Lamelo. I didn't know you could get drafted like from the overseas teams. I thought you just got picked up, got a contract. Keep it going. Keep it going. Tried to throw it up, had plenty of time. He really did do his own thing. That's what there's a couple players we see that from here. It's just too easy. RJ Hampton was here and he went over to so he didn't have to play in college. And then he got to oh, For some people, man, college is a scam. This I mean it, it's just it's almost bullshit for real. To to make people go to college just to get to the next level. Like if you're good enough. That, I mean that's just how I feel. If you're good enough though. I mean, imagine if, like, LeBron had to go to, uh, to college for a year. Like, that would have really stopped a lot of shit for him. And there's people that are in college or or um, signed to a team for next year that could go straight to the NBA. Hey, Lamelo's smooth. I was wrong about anything I've ever said. I'm one of those haters that had seen stuff online too, like you said, his dad and shit. So, my bad. I stand corrected. I mean, I know it was highlights and shit, but he made it look real. He made it seem like he was really comfortable out there. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop some links of some more stuff you want me to react to, or more things I should see. Um, yeah, that's it. Stay motivated. Stay positive. Take it easy.